In second level, the pupils are taught to multiply a two-digit number by a two-digit number known as long multiplication. This is a new strategy for them. I understand and know that parents do this in different ways and this film shows you how we teach it at school so that you can help and support your child to do this at home. Before we carry out our long multiplication, let's look at how we multiply by 10. In this example, 74 multiplied by 10. We often remind the children that there is one zero in the 10, which helps them to remember that the digits only move one place to the left. So the four in the units column moves one place to the left, bringing it to the four in the tens column. The seven in the tens column will now move one place to the left, bringing this up to the hundreds column. Now without our column headings here, this number would simply look like 74. A zero is placed in the units to hold that place value, giving our answer 740. This same strategy is applied when you're multiplying by another multiple of 10, for example, 20, 30, 40, etc. In the example, 36 multiplied by 20. The 20 here is the same as saying 2 multiplied by 10. So first of all, we are going to multiply our 36 by 2. The children can use space and to carry out the calculation as it's not a mental question. So for this, two sixes are 12, two threes are six, adding our one is seven, gives me 72. But as we know we're multi multiplying it by 20, we still have to multiply it by 10 here. So the same strategy applies as before. Now we've got 72 multiplying by 10, so our two that's in the units column moves up to our tens. The seven in the tens column moves up to the hundreds, and we place our zero in the units to hold that place, giving our answer 720. Let's now look at multiplying by a two-digit number. In this example, we'll have 12 multiplied by 24. The children are first, first taught to set out their calculation like so. For the first line here, we are really looking at 12 multiplied by 4. So we start off with the units column, the 4 was in the units column and we're doing 12 multiplied by 4. So 4 twos are 8, 4 ones are 4. As we've now multiplied by 4, we've still got our 20 to multiply. So this happens in our second line, 12 multiplied by 20. As previously explained, when multiplying by a multiple of 10, a zero has to be put in our units column. The children are encouraged to do this now within this calculation. We are now going to multiply by our two as we're multiplying by 20. So two twos are four and two ones are two. Multiplying by 4 and multiply by 20 now just leaves us to add this together because we're multiplying by 24. So we're going to add the two rows here together. So 8 add 0 is 8, 4 add 4 gives me 8 and 2 add 0 gives me 2. Like any calculation, if the answer um, brings up a column before, we simply extend our calculation lines. Giving our answer is 288. Now let's look at a long multiplication where carrying is involved with the example of 29 multiplied by 36. As previously, we pop down our lines like so. And we'll now start with 29 and we look at our 6 in the units column from 36. So really the first calculation is 29 multiplied by 6. I'll write this down here to remind us what we're doing when the children are carrying out their long multiplication. However, I would expect them not to write this at the side and just complete the calculation. So six nines are 54. We place the four in our units column and we'll carry our five over to remind the children to add this. We then look at six twos, which are 12, and then remembering to add the five that we've carried. So six twos are 12, Adding on the 5 gives me 17. 
We then now move down to our three in our tens column, but we know it's not three as it's in our tens, we know this is 30. So we're now looking at 29 multiplied by 30. As previously explained, when multiplying by a multiple of 10, we place the zero in our units column. And we now simply multiply 29 by three. So three nines are 27. We put our seven down and we carry our two to remind us that we have to add that on. We've then got three times two, which is six, and adding on our two gives me eight. We're now left to add these two together. So we have four add zero gives me four. Seven add seven gives me 14. So place our four and carry our one. We've then got one add eight gives me nine and add the carry one here gives me 10. As before, if your um, calculation equal signs not long enough, we simply pick up our ruler and add this in, giving the answer 1044. As children become more confident with their long multiplication, they will find a long multiplication calculation appear within a context. Here is an example on the board. There are 23 rows of chairs set out in the school hall for a concert. Each row has 29 chairs. How many chairs are there all together? The child will be able to work out that this involves a multiplication calculation and take the number 23 for each row and multiply this by 29. This is a long multiplication and the children will then set it out and lay this out as a long multiplication. As they're now more confident, I will not write the brackets at the side as previously explained. So we'll now look at our first row, which is looking at 23 multiplied by nine. So nine threes are 27. We put the seven down and carry our two. And then nine twos, which are 18, and carry on our two gives me 20. Now moving on to our tens column, which is now 20, as I have 29. Because it's a multiple of 10, we place our zero down in our units column and we start the calculation with our two. So two threes give me six and two twos are four. We're now left to add these together. So seven add zero gives me seven. Zero add six gives me six and two add four gives me six giving my answer is 667 chairs.